So let's go ahead and talk about how to instantly connect with someone. And this is a tip that quickly popped out at me because I really, really stink at this. Um, most of the time when I'm not like in the zone or purposefully trying to be um, friendly, I, I don't really connect all that well. It's a lot easier for me over the webcam because I have to actually turn the webcam on. Um, but instant connection is pretty challenging for me. In fact, yesterday I was even writing uh, a Facebook post uh, for recruiting webinar and I wrote it for the people in our audience, our Emerge community, but then I couldn't write the first line um, for it to go to an audience that had not already heard of Emerge. Like that's how bad I am at building instant connection. Um, and if we're gonna just keep getting more and more vulnerable and I guess uh, embarrassed, is I don't really love meeting new people. Now I love, once I meet them um, and I get to know them, I really get excited about that and building that deeper relationship. Um, but I'm not a natural schmoozer, I guess. It takes me a little while to get comfortable. Um, and I think one of the reasons that that's challenging is because I don't even know where to start. And so recently I have been going back through reading The Science of Selling. And this is a great book that is a compilation of many of the definitive works on the science of selling and influence and persuasion. And what's great about this book is it takes persuasion stuff and like all this research and, and really applies it very directly to how it impacts sales. It's really, really quite excellent. And uh, one tip this time really stood out to me and it was how to instantly build connection. And so here was the tip. When you first, speak with someone, ask them, how are they feeling? Not how are you doing or how are you, right? Because you typically get like busy, tired, like lame stuff. But specifically this question, how are you feeling, will typically evoke a positive response because people will say, I'm feeling good. And then everything that they do in that interaction with you, they're going to reinforce whatever they answered that question with, right? So if you say, how are you feeling today? And they say, good. As you carry on, they're going to act as if they are feeling good, which is, which is interesting. Now, I never thought that something like that would make a difference, but it's, it's really interesting how a little bit of a change in word makes a difference. And the research behind this, um, just to sum up, showed that Telemarketers who started the calls with how are you feeling versus how are you doing had double the results um, when they use this question, how are you feeling? Now, I was discussing this with Karen, who's our sales director, and she said, well, that sounds weird. And I thought, okay, yes, it does sound weird. And I think we have to take a step back and ask ourselves, why does it sound weird? It sounds weird because nobody does it. Uh, nobody talks this way. When I do the, the closing webinar, the closing training, uh, which you can check out at EmergeSalesTrain.com slash free training, by the way, little plug there. Um, we do this, this role play where, um, you know, I'll ask one of the people participating in the webinar, you know, tell me about your health goals. And then I'll say, what else, what else, what else? And it's always a little awkward. And we talk about how it's awkward because no one else does it. Think about the last time someone actually cared about what else happened in the day. And I think that this question, how are you feeling, is a lot like that. Think about the last time someone actively cared and asked you, how are you feeling? And so it would be a little weird and it would be a little jarring. But I think if people knew that you were serious about this question, that you actually did want to know how they were feeling, um, then they would really have a positive response to, to you. And the reason I really, a couple of reasons I really like this question. First, it's really simple. Um, anyone can implement it, even a meeting new people dodo like me. Um, introverts can implement this. It doesn't require a lot of talking. So maybe my introverts who listen to the podcast are like, great, instantly connecting with them, just 
no, right? But an introvert easily can meet someone and say, hi, I'm Tasha, um, you know, how are you feeling? And I know that sounds a little weird, but it works. And I've tried it a few times and it does work, it's so cool. Um, and then of course, the last reason I like this question, it's been proven to increase results when it comes to receptiveness and influence and you know, casting you in a positive life, light and increasing the mood. Uh, it puts people in a better emotional state and we want them to be in a better emotional state, not a better logical state. So people make decisions based on their emotions, not their logic. We would all love to think that we are logical, logical people. We are not. We are emotional people. And so if we want to bring someone into a positive emotional state, we should ask a positive emotional question like, how are you feeling? Um, yeah, so I just, I love this little tip. And I, I hope that you start to implement it. I feel like I should have, like, make this podcast uh, a little bit longer, but I really think that that's it. So uh, my challenge for you this week is, you know, when you're calling people, um, when you are calling referrals, when you are just having a conversation uh, with someone or meeting someone new or the beginning of a sales conversation, what if we just start even before the agenda to say, hey, how are you feeling today? And then go into it and bring um, them into a positive emotional state, which is what we want to do as humans, right? We want to be encouragers. We want people to feel better after they interact with us, not worse. And so that's why I love this question. How do you feel today? <laughs>